Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be discussing why a patient should get an ablation procedure done. I wanted to discuss this uh, today because of recent news that you may have seen. A few weeks ago at the Heart Rhythm Society conference, a big trial was presented called the Cabana trial. And in the Cabana trial, they studied over 2,000 patients over a five-year period and compared ablation with medical therapy. And in that trial, the main endpoint, which was a combined endpoint of mortality, risk of stroke, uh, hospitalizations, and uh, um, it in the end proved to be no better than medical therapy. So you may read some headlines and some critiques of it that say ablation procedures for atrial fibrillation are no better than medical therapy. Uh, however, I urge people to look more into the details and I emphasize to people that this results are really not going to change the way I practice and the way I recommend ablation procedures for patients. So let me get into that. Diving more into the details of the trial, if you look into more some more of the subsets of their endpoints, it did ablations did improve rate of hospitalization compared to medical therapy. And so why do I say this won't change the way that I practice, the way I recommend ablation procedures to patients? The ablation procedure is mostly a treatment for symptoms. If you're having a lot of shortness of breath, palpitations, and is not responding to medical therapy, ablation procedures can dramatically reduce how much atrial fibrillation you are having. And people frequently require less medication than they did prior to an, ab an ablation procedure. However, even an ablation procedure is not a 100% cure for atrial fibrillation. And that's some of the reason why you didn't see it in this Cabana trial, uh, an improvement in mortality or an improvement in risk of stroke. So even when people get an ablation procedure done, you know, risk factors, risk of stroke, all still need to still be monitored and managed with medical therapy. And so it's people assume that they get this uh, ablation procedure done and it's the end-all cure of everything and they don't need to take any medications anymore. But that's not the case. But it, what the ablation can offer for you, whether that's through a freezing or radiofrequency ablation burning, which I'll discuss in another segment one day, what they do is that it helps reduce the amount of symptoms and improves the amount of episodes you're having. Uh, but it's not a 100% cure for atrial fibrillation, but it, but it works much better than any medical therapy can. So that's why I recommend my patients an ablation procedure who really have a significant amount of symptoms from their atrial fibrillation and it's not responding to medical therapy. And in those settings, the ablation procedure works much better than medical therapy can. I will in my next segment discuss the specific question of using the use of blood thinners after an ablation procedure, which I think is a very important issue to also address. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.